Hi, my name is Christopher Perry. Uh, professionally, I work on various websites, backend systems, uh, anything that involves the computer and the internet connected together. Uh, currently, I am working for a major blog, uh, taking care of backend systems as well as working on uh, user interface and social media, including Twitter. So we have a new book called API in 24 Hours. This new book is targeted for people who have a little bit of computer experience. They don't have to be uh, gurus by any set, but you do need to know a little bit about PHP programming, HTML, and CSS. If you do know at least enough to get yourself in trouble, this book is for you. What is unique about the book is that uh, when you finish the book, you'll have a full-blown working Twitter client application running that includes all the CSS, JavaScript, PHP, everything. So not only will you understand how to put an application together, by the time you're done with the book, you have an application. You know, one of the interesting things that made Twitter so popular in the very beginning, and I remember I was in the Silicon Valley at a meeting and some guys came by to present this product. And I don't remember what it was called back then, but they showed me this product that will actually let you use SMS on your phone to communicate with your friends. The example they use is if you're at a bar and things are going really well, you can actually send a group SMS message to your other friends to tell them to come to this bar. And I remember sitting in the audience thinking, I would never use this. I don't have unlimited SMS. You know, it's going to cost me 20 cents just to tell my friends to come to a bar. Ah, I'm not sure about the value of this. But they invited us to try and I sent a text message and I thought that was neat and interesting. Come later to find out that was the beginning of Twitter before it was even called Twitter. And then when the web version came out, then I started to see the value of it. Twitter itself has grown to an amazing extent, and yet it still keeps its basic roots. You can still use Twitter with just a simple, uh, low-level cell phone. Uh, you can use Twitter by just going to a web page and typing in an API call. As powerful as Twitter is, it's still incredibly easy to get to it and incredibly deep rich based on the fact that it's just 140 characters. By the time you finish this book, you'll have the ability to send tweets, get tweets back. You can filter tweets. You can do search, save as favorites, send direct messages. All the basic features and functions you would expect on Twitter and would expect on the Twitter website, you can do by the time you finish this book. In addition, we talk about various ways that information comes in from a Twitter API call. So you can actually start doing things like analysis, database storage, um, friends to follower checks, including running it on an iPhone and on Android. The three most important things you should know about the book is number one, you do need to know a little bit about PHP programming, uh, just the LAMP stack in general. HTML, CSS, JavaScript. This is not for the absolute beginner. But at the same time, this is not for someone, you don't have to feel intimidated. If you are willing to just dive right in and willing just to accept code that you may not understand, you can, as a beginner, use this book to get your application written. Another important thing to consider uh, with our book is at the end of the book, we actually talk about programming for the iPhone and the Android uh, operating systems. Uh, these last four chapters are not detailed explanations on how to do very precise or graphics or user interactions. They're basically just written to kind of get you up to speed, get you set up with the Twitter API so that you can start execu executing your own programs. The reason we didn't go into great detail is basically once the uh, 
once you understand how to get the API working on your platform, all the things we talked about previously in the book will apply to mobile devices. Uh, third thing to understand is, as this book was written, it was actually quite an adventure because Twitter kept changing as we were writing the book. This book's actually taking much longer to write than any of us would have expected because qu- Twitter kept improving and expanding and actually at some times absolutely just changing how they work. So although we have written one book, really we wrote four. You just don't see them all. The future of Twitter is unknown. The people of Twitter don't even know what it's going to be. But they have decided that they want it to be as open as possible and not really dedicated to any one purpose. As such, we're going to continue to see Twitter and its API uh, continue to grow and evolve in a variety of different directions, including uh, geospatial logging, uh, the ability to actually save custom attributes, which they already started, but was put on hold because of the massive traffic load that happened from uh, the uh, World Cup. And we'll also see more involvement with other services, perhaps with Groupon, perhaps better integration with uh, Google and other search services. It's pretty much a open, an open field of possibilities. And it's going to be quite exciting to see how it evolves. And if I decide to write an update to this book, I'm going to definitely keep that in mind. <laughs>